Okay, so in this video we're still talking about the logistic function. And this is what you'll find in your formula booklet. It's in the HL section. And this is the particular equation you'll be given where L, K, and C are positive. And I know that L is the eventual population size. That's the upper asymptote, and it's the carrying capacity. If you let x be 0, which is the initial value, and then you realize that L over 1 plus C is the initial population, or an, and k measures how quickly the population is growing. It's the growth rate. So trying a problem here, I have 10 rabbits are introduced on an island that was previously empty. The carrying capacity of the island is 10,000 rabbits. And after one year, I know there are 40 rabbits. So I know that the initial is 10, and L is going to be 10,000. And I know when there is one rabbit, or one year, there are 40 rabbits. And so I'll make my function r of t, because it's time as rabbits. We're going to, well, l, I know, is going to be 10,000, because it's the limiting value, over 1 plus c e to the minus k t. Well, if I know 10 rabbits were introduced, to find my initial value, I take this part of the equation, equaling it up to 10. Algebraically, I can switch these two. And I recognize that this is going to be 1,000. Subtract 1, I get C to be 9, 9, 9. And so as I start to make my model, I end up with 10,000 over 1 plus 9, 9, 9, e to the minus k, t. Finding the k value, I use this number here of 1 to the 40. So I know that r at 1 is going to equal to 40. So plugging the 1 into my equation, I get 1 plus 9, 9, 9, minus k times 1. And if I'm going to solve for k, I know I can make this 1 plus 9, 9, 9, e to the minus k is equal to a 10,000 divided by 40. Well, doing some simple arithmetic here, those cancel. And 1,000 divided by 4, I know that is going to be 200 and 250. So now, solving for k, I'm going to subtract the 1, divide by 999. So e to the negative k is equal to 250 minus 1, subtract 9, 9, 9. So that's 249 over triple 9. And so now to get k, I do the natural logarithm. I say negative k is equal to the natural logarithm of 249 over 999. And so k, I can move the negative sign over. k is going to be negative this logarithm here. And so putting it all together, my rabbit population time t is my limiting value of 10,000, or 1 plus 999e to the negative ln 249 over 999t. And so if I put this value into my calculator, I'm going to go negative natural logarithm of 249 divide 999 and I'm going to store that into my a value. So this is my a value. So now I have my I can easily work with my model. I typed it in here already. You can see I've already preloaded it in and so now I'm ready to go. Next question is I want to use the model to estimate rabbit problem after two years. So that means t is 2. So communication wise please make sure you do R at 2. You don't have to actually plug it in, but this I need to see. And then you can just use your calculator to find out what R at 2 is going to be. Plug in the 2. And I get 158.57 rabbits. So really it's 159 rabbits to three significant figures after two years. And C part, in what year Will the island reach half of its carrying capacity? Well, I know 
that 10,000 is the carrying capacity. So that means I want to find out when will it be 5,000. So going to here, that means C means when R at T is equal to 5,000. So if I go to my calculator here, here's my initial equation. I'm going to go to 5,000. Oh, and my window, I'm going to make it zero. And I'm going to guess like 100 years would be more than enough to get up to the allotted time. There's five. My minimum is make zero. And my maximum is going to be 10,000. And I'm going to go up by 1,000 so I can see what's going on. And I graph it. There's my equation. And I'm looking for the point of intersection. So I'm going to go second trace into the intersect. And I can see then when t is equal to 4.97 years, we will have reached a halfway point 5,000. 5,000 rabbits will be obtained. Okay, now, D part says, since the logistic model is asymptotic to the maximum value, the maximum will never be reached, which makes total sense. However, at some point in time, the number of rabbits will get close enough to the maximum for any practical purpose. Find the minimum number of years until the population of rabbits given to three significant figures is equal to the maximum population. And this is the key, three significant figures. So what that means is I know the maximum is 10,000 rabbits. But if that's the three significant figures, I know if I have 9,900, 995, this will also, the three significant figures, this will be 10,000 rabbits. If it's a 94, then it's going to be 9990, 994. That will give 9990 to three significant figures. So this is the smallest it can be to three significant figures and still make it over. It's going to be, in practical purposes, my 10,000 rabbits. The upper end, if I was looking for the upper side, then that would be 10,005. So I have a range of actually 10 rabbits that it could be to three significant figures and still be considered 10,000. So I want to find when will it be this value of 9995. So if I go to my graph here, I'm going to go 9995. And I recognize my window is really kind of crazy. I can make it up to 50, be more than enough. And if I graph it, it's way up here. Let me go a little bit higher than the 10,000 so I can see what's going on. Let's me make it 11,000. And so right here, I can't even tell my pixels are so small. I want to find when is R at T equal to 9995. And so if I trace and intersect it, I can see that T is equal to 10.44. So let's answer it correctly. So find the minimum number of years until the population of rabbits given is equal to the maximum population. That means actually in the 11th year, in the 11th year, we will hit our maximum.